Hey everyone, Wago Warrior, aka Julie here. Welcome to my channel. If you love seeing what people pick up in an Amazon haul, uh, yeah, well, you're in the right place and keep on watching. So, it may seem as if I've been doing a lot of hauls lately, which I guess I have, but to be fair, I was on a low buy for a really long time. I also have lost a bunch of weight. And during the pandemic, I didn't really buy a lot. So, I've been overdue for some clothing items. That is what the majority of this haul is about. Although, I believe there are some beauty as well as maybe a kitchen gadget. I honestly can't remember. So, enough rambling. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start with these one-offs. By the way, I made this haul together. I purchased, I want to say before tax, it was like about $140, $142. So for as many items as I got, and including five to six clothing items, that's a pretty good price. But God forbid I get like one big box. No, look how Amazon ships things. This is like a shirt or a pair of pants, probably a shirt. Uh, it comes in like clear plastic. So thank goodness I check my porch frequently and often. Or else a porch pirate could, you know, be scoring big time. Let me know. When you order from Amazon, does it arrive just in clear plastic? Or do they at least put it in a huge box with one little tiny thing? <laughs> as much as that annoys me, at least it's, you know, concealed as to what you purchased. So I will be sharing on screen the photos because these clothing are going to be black. I'm wearing black. I have a black chair. When I hold it up, you no, you won't be able to see what it is. So a screenshot will be very helpful. Okay, so this go around, I focused on short sleeve shirts, whereas my previous Amazon clothing haul, the majority were uh, long sleeve because it was fall shopping. So this, again, there, you'll see a trend. This is a V-neck black shirt. Oh my goodness, you can't see anything. Here's the photo. This, I want to say, actually looks a little too big. I don't know. I'll have to do a try-on. Um, I tried to size down, meaning last time I was getting 1Xs, now I was trying to focus on like extra large. But as we all know, every brand is different. So an XL could be too big in one brand and then be way too small in the next brand. Thank goodness Amazon has free returns. All right, this next shirt at least came in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> Makes it easier if you do have to do a return. And this one actually has a tag, so I know the brand. So this is from Sharosa. Um, I like the feel of this material better than that first top. Again, a uh, theme V-neck. And what I love about this is its elbow length because no one wants to share their grandma arms. <laughs> At least I don't. And this one also seems a bit big, but again, I will have to do a try on. Here is the third item. What is this? It feels odd, meaning I normally buy cotton. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I bought a few items for my husband. These are just what I would call uh, the male version of like leggings. They're just kind of lounge around the house type of pants, but yet look decent enough if you have to run to the grocery store. It's, they have pockets, elastic waist, kind of, he doesn't run or do anything, but you could probably work out in them. All right, it's all coming back to me. So yeah, a little guilt free, you know, as I'm shopping for myself. Um, pick up something for your significant other and then you know they can't make a comment on you shop too much because you're like well look what i got you yes i know <laughs> but hey now at least i know the 142 dollars it wasn't all spent on me um and again i think i got a lot for that price all right yay something that at least officially looks like it came from amazon those other packages just with the clear so strange Okay, yeah, this one is coming back to me. Um, it has some detail, which 
when I show you, you'll, you'll notice. Um, it is a zip down, which will create a V-neck without it truly being just a V-neck. This feels soft and looks smaller than those other two. So hopefully this one will fit better or maybe those other ones that I think are too large actually fit me and this one will be too small. All right, diving in to the larger of the two boxes. All right, this one I'm not gonna take out of the package because I can feel elastic waist. This is also a pair of pants I got for my husband. I will float a picture on screen in case you were curious. All right, we have another Ziploc bag. Okay, and this is yet a black shirt with a V-neck and way too short of a sleeve. When I do my searches, I search for elbow length. I look at the photos. I do not buy something. No, that's going to cut right through Grandma's arm. No, no, this one's going straight back. I don't care if this fits. Hmm. There's no way I'd be able to fold and get this just as flat as it came. Will this even fit in the bag? Uh, barely. Oh, yes. I picked up a backup of the Essence Lash Princess on Amazon and I think on Ulta and the Essence website. It's $4.99. And then we have something in a box. Yes, I make these purchases, but honestly, I make these purchases and then if I don't have time to film, I just let them sit around and like a couple weeks could go by and then my brain just goes, oh, I can't remember. I know I got some clothes, but <laughs> I don't remember exactly everything that came in the entire purchase. And why can't I get this box open? There we go. Oh! Okay, now I remember, this is way, way more than I anticipated. This is glass. Okay, so this here, and it comes with a little cleansing thing. This is for spritzing oil. Um, I have one that's way smaller and doesn't weigh this much that's starting to leak. Um, wow, I'm impressed. I haven't used it yet, but really thick, heavy glass. That's why I was like, what is this? It weighs a lot so you put your oil in here screw it back on and supposedly the spritzer mister will work so you can use less oil or if you have like an air fryer um and then i love how it comes with a little i don't you call this a thing to help you clean it out all right and here is the last box i thought my haul would have been done by now so i am Really curious what's over here, because I got four to five tops, two pairs of pants for my husband, the oil spritzer, and the mascara. What do we have in this box? Oh, yes, coming back to me. All right, so we have a repurchase. So I don't remember these, maybe such a fancy box. I use these to, um, Kind of clean my brushes and I like how they are similar to the what do they call those the makeup what well, not the makeup wipes the towelettes that I don't know they cost like 20 bucks for one little thing that you just add water and you can take your makeup off um, they're like this this size really soft have a little um, ridging on one side softer on the other you get four, five um, in these know, pastel -y type colors and they wash really well. I use them just for my brushes. You know, if I put a cleanser such as this or the cinema it's secrets and you need a towel or if you just have a eyeshadow brush that, you know, you just want to quickly clean off without technically cleaning it just to get a little of the powder off these really come in handy and I use them all the time but sadly half of them are always in the laundry when I need one so I thought you know what so let's buy another pack oh okay yes so I've been on a kick lately 
of trying to find a more affordable, a makeup cleaning product that will remove waterproof mascara. So this here is from e.l.f. and it's the e.l.f. Off Makeup Remover. So we shall see. It looks like it's a bifacil where you have to kind of shake it up. I have recently discovered the Clinique Take the Day Off, which I have been loving in the future. I'm not sure the order of this video. There will be a side-by-side -side comparison against my current Holy Grail, which is from Lancome. Um, but yes, hopefully the e.l.f. will work just as well because it's a lot cheaper. All right, one more clothing item. That just amazes me how a soft piece of like fabric can become like hard and stiff just because they vacuum seal it. All right, we have another Ziploc type bag. Please let the sleeves be elbow length. Yes. All right, that I think is everything in my Amazon haul. Wasn't that a lot? Like what? I got five to six tops, two pairs of men's pants, an oil cooking spritzer, some beauty towelettes, a mascara. What am I forgetting? Oh, and uh, the e.l.f. cleanser for $142. That's, thank you, Amazon. Anyways, if you enjoy Amazon hauls, leave me a comment and let me know. Um, I don't always share what I buy on Amazon, but if I know you enjoy them, I will do that more often. All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.